All right, so here we are approaching the end of March, Michigan, so no swarms to be caught. Uh, if you are interested in seeing some swarms that are being caught, join our uh, Facebook group, Honeybee Swarm Catching, all one word, Honeybee, and uh, you'll get some inspiration from Carolina South. I think I even saw one from Tennessee uh, yesterday. So yeah, they're catching. We're just not catching here, and I hope to be soon. But anyways, again, honeybee swarm catching, all one word, honeybee. Look for the one that has over 20,000 members, and you'll get uh, a dozen to 20 posts a day right now, and it's going to even pick up even more. So if you want some inspiration or you want to see some cool videos and images of some massive swarms that are happening right now, again, honeybee. Swarm catching, all one word, honeybee. There's some other groups with some similar spelling, so you want to look for the one that has over 20,000 members, and it's pretty cool. Uh, if you do participate in the group and you're already in there, I thank you. Uh, it's a wonderful group, and we're having a lot of fun, and it's only been in existence like 14 months, and we got 20,000 members, so pretty awesome. Anyways, I wanted to make a short video on uh, this tool that I picked up last year. I picked it up for cleaning bottom boards and stuff like that because it was wider than a hive tool. Just something to have and now that I've had it a while given the option with this sitting next to any of my other hive tools I keep grabbing this so you can see it's got a lot of use on it I like it I like it a lot I first of all for the for the first purpose that I bought it for for scraping body bottom boards coming out of spring just get them done quicker it's got a nice bevel edge on it really really cleans up your bottom boards nice but I've been using it now to to break boxes again if you're going to if you're going to break boxes, don't go towards the sharp side. Go to the dull side. You are going to hit the bottom of your board, or I use it a lot like this. Um, and it, because it has a lot more surface area, it seems to be breaking my boxes open a lot quicker and easier. So I'm enjoying it. I uh, do even lift frames with it with this end, although this is rather sharp. I'm going to dull that down with a grinder and make it more like a hive tool, um, it's more blunt instead of more sharp for, for prying frames. But I find it, it pries frames finer. And actually a lot of the times I'll go in between the frames and just pop them instead of actually prying them up. But you can't get in there and pry them up. It's got uh, the teardrop here for pulling nails. And it also has Phillips and flathead that you put in the handle here in case you get you need it. I'm not so sure that I'd be using that. It's not the greatest leverage, but if it saved me from going back to the truck and grabbing something, then certainly I would. But you got, you got it here, and again, you can tell by the use on it. I keep reaching for it. I don't know. I am really enjoying it. I like, uh, I like it better than the hive tools that I have, and I actually have some of the fancy hive tools that uh, just sit in the box. So I wanted to pass that on. Check it out. Wasn't that cheap. Or, sorry, it wasn't that expensive. It was cheap. Uh, five bucks. Harbor Freight, I think I got it for. So if you look, you can get it for cheaper or coupons. Uh, I believe they are having them at Lowe's too and maybe even Home Depot. But check it out. I, uh, I really like it. If you're in the Grand Rapids area, I have the Hive Alive products. Also, I have the Pro Nukes. Prices on the Pro Nukes are going up April 1st. So if you want to lock it in before April 1st, I'm perfectly fine with that and we can pick it up later. But you can give me your order now. And uh, I got the Hive Alive Feed Supplement. This is all I have left of the fondant, and I'm probably going to end up using that myself. So anyways, wanted to make a short video, let you know that uh, we're still waiting for the swarm season here. And I'll give you an update on the colonies here soon. i got to get up there. I'm a little concerned that some of them might need some food. So we'll figure that out soon, and I'll update you. Hope your bees are well. If your traps aren't done, get them done and uh, get them hung. That's what I'm going to be doing here soon after the 1st of April. So anyways, thanks for watching. We'll see you around.